Hi Lynn, my cosplay friends. Leah Day here with a new video and I want to share with you the steps to putting on my big flower girl costumes. It is quite an adventure just to put it on. So the first thing starts with a hoop skirt and this was made with black uh, irrigation pipe and ribbon and really inexpensive. I think I might have spent $20 on this total. Uh, and it's quite large, so whenever I put this on, I kind of don't plan on leaving the room because <laughs> I can't fit through a door. So now the next step is my petticoat, and this was constructed with 100% cotton on the bottom and then layers and layers of tulle, and I ruffled up the tulle and sewed it in layers over the cotton fabric and the trick with this it's a little tricky I have to pull it down so that way it reaches the hoops and I want to I have a drawstring it's elastic waist and a drawstring so I'm just going to position this here we we'll have the drawstring in the front and this is one of those things that's really nice to have a helper because the uh, Petticoat doesn't want to cover the hoop skirt completely, and so you have to kind of manually pull it down. So I'm going to ask my handy assistant, my son James, to come here and help me. So um, start with the cotton and pull the cotton down so it completely covers the black hoop. So the petticoat is in place. You can see it really fills out and makes the dress much more bell-shaped, and it also hides the hoops, which is the most important part. Now the dress. The dress was draped in only about two days, and I happen to have a bolt of this red batik fabric. So I just cut the fabric straight off the bolt. And one of the ways that I sewed this really fast was I used the selvages of the fabric. So like down the side seams, that's selvages, I didn't have to cut those. And uh, down the front, you know, I didn't have to finish that edge because it was already finished for me. So James is going to help me pull this down and keep it straight. And then because I know I'm going to have to, if I, if I wear this out to like a costuming event, I know that I will have to put this on kind of in a public place uh, simply because it's hard to get through doors and stuff. So one thing I figured out was how to change into it uh, and not expose myself. So I'm just wearing this blank tank top and I can just slip it down and then zip up the back of the dress and that's just fine. You know, it's not, it's not indecent. <laughs> it's one of those things of just wearing something this big. I had to figure out a way of working around it. So as you can see, the back is nice and open and to sew it, all I did was gather the shoulders. I gathered around the waist and the back and then I stitched the side seams and back seam. And that was it. It was very, very simple. Now the next step is a big white bow. It's just some white satin that I reinforced with a woven stabilizer. And I just wanted something to hide my gathering stitches. If I had more time, I would probably also do some kind of bow on the shoulders. But I didn't want to make this a permanent addition to the garment. I didn't want to like stitch it to the dress. So I'm just going to tie it whenever I wear this dress, this particular arrangement, I'll just tie it and make a nice bow. So that looks good. And now, two final steps. I'm going to put on my mask and put on my gloves. And once I put the mask on, I can't talk because the mask presses, it, presses against my face to the point where I'm very muffled. So I'm going to put it on, show it off, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video.